Hi, my friends. What's up? So, uh, how are you going? Do you love to please people? Or do you like to please God? Discover what it does to you if you try to please people or God. Which one is better? So, let's go for it right now. Right now! What's up, my friends? Welcome for Coffee with Christianity for Dummies like me. Not stupid, but simple. So you welcome into this new edition. I call this one, set yourself free from people pleasing. Set yourself free from people pleasing. Too often, actions are dictated by a misguided need to please others. We care so much about what they think that with every step we take, we look over our shoulders uh, to see whether they're smiling or give you a dirty look or they whisper something. And we are so focused what they maybe think of our, that then we lose uh, everything. Understand this, if you are always looking for people's approval, you are not looking where you are going. And eventually you will hit a wall or trip over your own two feet. You know, in the Bible says in Acts 5.29, we owe to obey God rather than man. What do you think will happen if you open your mouth and stand up for yourself? What do you think these people or that person will really do? Okay, he, will, he or she will talk something about you, okay? Uh, if it's not forward for you, it's against you, is it correct? So why would you try to do something to manipulate someone and, and, and please them to, to uh, corrupt your own well-being, corrupt your who you are, or rather mold yourself according what I would like you to be. It is unnatural, it is against you, and you will definitely hit the wall one day. You will hit something which sometimes it can be not repairable. The truth is that people who don't respect your rights and honor your wishes are not worthy your time or effort. Trust me, and then I know you in deep in, in your heart, you know that. Nor are they worthy of our long drawn out discussions. You keep dis pleasing them and talking yourself out. Devils just keep you begging, pulling you down and down. Just say goodbye. I am telling you, even if you are being friends for hundreds of years, you need to consider to say goodbye to this kind of friendships. Sounds cruel? To the friend who is not respecting you and your way will be seen as cruel, that you are cruel. How can you cut down this friendship? How can you, how you dare not to be pleasing me and being what I want you to be? That's what I will say, yes, you are cruel. And I might even speak about you to others, how cruel you are, how you destroy the friendship. Instead of being supportive of you, being in there for you. If you try to please somebody, watch out, it's not healthy. And if I, if they let you to please them, they're already not well for you. This is already a good sign that they will somewhere betray you. They will kick you somewhere. Believe you to me, the freedom you will feel outweighs the sorrow of losing sort of friendship. We are not talking here about marriages and children, okay? This is completely different. That doesn't apply into marriage and children. That's we need to be working out a different way. When the land become too small for the flocks of Abraham and Lot to graze together, strife broke out. Abraham loved his nephew Lot, but he realized he could no longer live in a situation so he said in Genesis 39, please separate from me. If you take the left, then I will go to the right. Or if you go to the right, then I will go to the left. Can you see what is happening here? Abraham, you give opportunity to his nephew 
to choose the best, to take whatever you, you can, take it, the best. Okay, I will do, I will, I will take what is left for me. I give you room to separate from me in a peace with abundance. That which you want, you can have it. I'm happy with the rest. How does this story uh, uh, between Abraham and Lot end? Lot chose the best grazing land close to Sodom. And as a result, everything he worked for went up in smoke. But Abraham, who always sought to please God, ended up on not only being blessed himself, but being a blessing to the nations of the world. So the word for you today is, God wants to set you free from people pleasing. God wants you to focus on His grace, on His guidance, on His direction. And not only that, on His blessing, on His encouragement, on His support. Everything you need in life, you can draw from God without need to look beyond, beyond your shoulders and look beyond and, and watch what might happen to you. Because only God can provide you with security of relationship like no human being can. Trust in the Lord all your understanding and guide your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. And in Joshua 1, 8 says, be strong and courageous. This is not just being strong and courageous to, to fight the adversary. It is strong and courageous to maybe break relationships which leads you away from better life. The relationship, the toxic relationship with another human being, which may be you've been so focused to please them and to be like they want you to be and you miss on to be who you are. Greater is he who is in you than the one who is in the world. Greater is he who is in you, the Christ Jesus, the Spirit of living God, who gives you strength. You are weak, he is strong for you. You are despised, he become a strength to you. He's protecting, he's surrounding with his love over you. Banner over you is love, is support and strength. So I want to encourage you, Stop pleasing a dead friend. Stop pleasing those people that are toxic, that are destroying you. And the end of the day is if you have one or two people around you who are encouraging you, who give you strength, who guide you, who lift you up when you are down, who protect you, if you even if you are wrong, they still come around, really with you, lift you up. These are people who sent by God to you. These are friends. How many you have like that? How many people around you have who supports you, who really give you a strength in no time, without any condition? That's, that's support. Rather than pleasing people that have always conditions. Where God has unconditional love. God has prepared the table before your enemies. There's a feast for you in a God's presence even when the enemy is knock on the door. I encourage you, read those scriptures which I put in the in descriptions. Encourage you to study a little bit the word. I know so many times we don't have that intellect that we don't fully understand, but try, read, ask Holy Spirit to help you, to translate you those words in the word of God. To, to your understanding. Holy Spirit is loving. He's here to, to, to support you and support me. And Jesus said that he was ascending into heaven. He said, I will send you helper, the Holy Spirit. And so ask the Holy Spirit, help me understand these scriptures. Help me understand what the, the word of God is saying to me today. Believe you me, there is nothing what God will pull you down. There's nothing which, which will hold God from supporting you and protecting you. So cry out to God. God, help me to understand. And you will never be lonely. You will never need to please a human being again. So I encourage you to, to read the Bible, read the Word of God, and watch my videos. Please subscribe. Leave the Press that button and at the bell will remind you that a new video is. Please subscribe. It helps me to keep going and understanding. In comments, write something. Write something 
encouraging or, or criticism, but constructive, okay? Don't be rude to me. I'm not rude to you. I love you. I want to blessing over your life and see you in next video. Bye.